part two of our entertainment walls videos. And in this part, I'm gonna be installing peel and stick, rustic barn wood planks. And so they've got some peel and stick adhesive on each plank. There are multiple different size lengths. And I also am gonna use my Ryobi nail gun to back that peel and stick up with a couple nails in there, brad nails. And we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned for the results. Okay, here's the rustic barn wood planks right here. They're only a quarter inch thick. They've got two peel and stick adhesive strips on the upper and lower portions. And this is kind of like a grayish with some brown in it. There's some longer lengths here too. I think they're about, the longest ones are four foot long. And the shortest ones are like about a foot long. So that's the, how you can keep them staggered. Now these, this set here came in 104 square foot. I also bought a backup of 23 square foot box right here. So in case we need it, I measured, I think a hundred square foot to maybe a little over a hundred square foot here. And I'm sure there'll be some waste. So let's get started. One of the hardest parts is gonna be right here, cutting out for these wall switches. After that, should be good to go most of the way up till we get to that wall switch and that vent plate right there. Don't deny that I could do some company. I'm a friend some of the tools I'll be using for this project. Seems like any way I would have tried to cut this, these little legs would have broken off. So I'm gonna use it like this and I'm gonna use the adhesive plus silicone to make sure these pieces stick on. Adhesive is very sticky, so I hope that lasts for a while.
pretty well so far I'm getting up there quite a ways I'm using the uh, extension ladder now and that's a little bit more time-consuming when you get that far up and have to go up and down on an extension ladder like I'm doing because you might have to mark go up one time mark or make sure the piece fits or looks right make your mark come back down make the cut and then go back up peel the sticky off and then stick it on come back down get your nail gun and go back up and tack a couple nails in there but it's come along good and I'm happy with it so far. or part two of this entertainment walls video hope you enjoyed seeing how i was able to do that rustic plank all the way up almost guys i got up to there and i had to squeeze even that last row i got in between the ladder and the wall and i was almost falling or holding myself off the wall like this and reaching up blindly with these long planks to get that adhere to the wall and then i had to go 
way back up there with that heavy uh, nail gun, which I like. I like that Ryobi nail gun. I suggest that nail gun if you have any woodworking projects ahead of you. That gun is a whole lot more convenient than having an electric one or a pneumatic one that requires an air hose. So that's a good to go item for your tool chest for sure. Guys, I'm happy. So now we're just waiting for our stack stone, faux stack stone product to come in, our mantle, faux mantle wood, and our beams for up there. And then also I'm gonna get started this next week on removing this stuff and adding an outlet above here because we're gonna have the projector and our sound system, uh, speaker system, all that, and our DV, uh, our satellite box and stuff, and Alexa is all going to be mounted behind the faux beam that is going to cover that screen up there. So no cords coming down. I'm going to put an outlet up there so everything's plugged in and hidden behind that beam. And the beam's going to have lights in it shining down onto the faux stone that we put there. So guys, stay tuned for part three, and I'll see you on the next video. You Lower TV. Keep it on repeat, please don't Echo, raise TV. Just say you want. I follow every sound. Just say you want. I won't let you down. So we can dance through the night. What are you doing, Brandy? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Harley.